Okay, welcome back. Uh, yesterday I got a couple uh, couple questions as far as uh, DPI and exporting. You've probably noticed like on merch, uh, they say, you know, 45 by 54 or 4500 by 5400 pixels and 300 DPI. And then there's also some other POD platforms that'll say the same thing. They'll recommend 300 DPI and then they'll have a size. Um, now in this case, um, I personally have, you know, I was resi actually resizing them um, to where I would, you know, I would export my PNG image and say I've got, you know, 45 by 5400 and then change this to 300 DPI and then this would be huge, you know, like, I don't know, something like, you know, 14,000 by whatever pixels. So it ended up being a huge file but I'd go ahead and, and export that PNG and then I'd open that P, you know at 300 DPI then I'd open that file in GIMP and size it back down to 45 by 4500 by 5400 pixels and then that would give me the 4500 by 54 at 300 DPI but then you know later I had noticed I'll show you here real quick later I had noticed I'm in uh, Printful right now and if you look at this graphic right here it says uh, 4369 pixels by 3221 pixels at 96 DPI which 96 DPI is the most recent version of Inkscape that's the default it used to be 90 um, but it's uh, changed up to 96 with this with this last uh, update or the last install that I did um, but in Printful I'll go ahead and choose this to put this on this shirt and look down here as you can see even though that said 96 DPI um, right here it says 364 DPI and good quality and they'll warn you I mean if your file is not clear and you know if, if the resolution is not high enough for printing this will be like an orange color um, so after I had noticed this then I, I just I don't know I, I to me it became a non-issue and I just went back to exporting the file you know because it's a lot light, smaller lighter file because man when you si upsize that file I mean it literally because my computer's older you know and so it would try and you know uh, sometimes it would lock up I literally would have to kind of uh, restart and make you know kind of make sure there was nothing else going on on my computer before I could do it because the file was just so big so uh, you know at this point I'm just saying it's a non-issue because Printful saying you know yeah I'm in excess of 300 DPI and that is at you know and that is at uh, that is at that uh, smaller smaller uh, file size at uh, four uh, you know it, I've got the f this says 4369 3221 and that's because I have uh, just the uh, just the image selected I don't have the page selected that's why it's not 4500 by 5400 and I like doing that on all the platforms except uh, merch merch it's mandatory it won't accept your upload unless it's 4500 by 5400 but then you have that, um, then you have that, this size, you have that, and it'll put that exactly on the t-shirt. Well, if you just have the graphic, like, you know, like say uh, this circle is our graphic, and I just save that selection, you know, even though I'm mentally saying, yeah, I want it about there on the t-shirt, um, but I just save the selection. It does give me the option when I'm in the other, you know, in these other platforms where I can move this around um, and and then uh, save it like that versus just, you know, you put the 45 by 5400 like on merch and then it is what it is, you know, however it lines up, uh, that's, that's what it is. So um, I kind of, you know, the 45 by 54 works because you can still move it around. Um, you know because it, what it'll do is it'll just push like if this was your graphic and you move it down it'll just push this area out of the print area which is no big deal because you you know your background is transparent so it's no big deal but for me it's just easier to kind of manipulate the uh, manipulate the graphic by itself versus having it saved with the page size but 
again with merch it is mandatory that it is 45 by or 4500 by 5400 pixels otherwise it won't accept it it'll tell you that it's it's not sized properly or whatever the the uh, error message is uh, so that was one of the questions was about the 300 dpi and and again like i said at this point it seems to be a non issue uh, but you do have the option uh, to do everything you know the 45 by 54 like we had talked for merch you can do it exactly like I had said on the other video and then you can just scale up here at 300 dpi and that's gonna save again it's gonna be I don't know 12,000 14,000 pixels it's gonna be huge um, but you can save it like that and then you can either import it uh, into GIMP or you can use some other third-party software for rescaling images and you just want to it'll it'll keep the 300 dpi but it will scale it back down to the 4500 by 5400 so that was one question that uh, the person had had another one was that they had um, and I actually haven't heard back from him yet but he had said that he had saved his SV or saved his PNG file but he still had a white background um, now if you do save you do have the option to come over here and uh, file save as and then you'll come down here you'll actually when you open it it'll probably be like this it'll say save as uh, and then it'll be at Inkscape and, but you have all these other file options down here to choose from and it does have this, this PNG option but if you use this PNG option it will indeed have a white background now I'm not for sure like I said I haven't heard back from him yet I'm not for sure if that's what he did uh, or if it's some other issue but I wanted I thought that would be a good time to kind of mention that as far as uh, if you choose this PNG it's not the same as exporting a PNG um, you want you know what you want to do is you'll either come over here file export PNG image which will open this this window and once you work in um, once you work in Inkscape a couple times, it kind of saves uh, your palette, I guess you'd say. So this window, or in my case anyway, it did. Um, so this window kind of stays open, and this is where you want to export from. And then you typically, if you're, you know, if you're going, you know, if you're uploading to Merch, uh, then you're going to want to save the page because your page is going to be. Uh, you're gonna have its size for the 45 by 54 so it doesn't matter you know whether your graphic you know is that little um, or, or takes up the whole area uh, when you export the page it's gonna export this but you know your, your image is gonna be that you know that size um, but everything's gonna be transparent except for uh, the graphic itself uh, but so you know so if you export for merch uh, you're going to want to use page. You can use page for all of them, but it is a little easier to manipulate the graphic if you uh, export as selection and have your object selected or your image selected. And if you uh, export as selection, it'll export just just what is selected. Um, and you know, and then that that's to me is a little user friendly on the other. POD platforms, but again, the 4500 by 5400 will work on um, most uh, on most of the platforms. But kind of going back to that 300 DPI, I've I've had you know sales on uh, merch, Etsy, Redbubble, and then also my own website, which I shown you. Uh, I use Printful, uh, and which I showed you where the uh, it's just said 300 plus DPI. Um, and then with Etsy, Redbubble, and Merch all, um, with Merch I've got uh, positive feedback on, on, on the designs. And then also uh, I even had a guy from Etsy actually uh, message me the other day said how great the shirt looked. So again, like I said, I think the 300 DPI at this point, I'm saying it's a non-issue. I could be wrong, but it's not causing any issue for me uh, to uh, export at 96 DPI uh, because I haven't I've only had good feedback I've had no returns or nothing like that so anyway these are a couple questions that had come up and I thought it'd be kind of cool just to make a short quick video about it uh, and hopefully uh, that that sheds some light you know gives you uh, in, in case you run into where you're questioning that if you do decide to go ahead and scale your image up to 300 DPI that's you know uh, that's fine um, there may be an easier way to do it uh, outside of using a third-party 
uh, software, um, but I, I personally do not know of it. Um, not to say that it's not there because I'm no expert. I just kind of share what I know because I, I've messed with uh, Inkscape so much and I feel like, you know, I'm somewhere in between beginner and advanced. So I guess I'm kind of intermediate as far as Inkscape's concerned. And I just feel like I could help some of the guys get started, uh, started in Inkscape. Um, but there could be a better way to do that as far as how to scale your image up to 300 DPI within Inkscape. I mean, actually, it, to me, it seems like there w it would be silly not to be able to somehow do it, uh, but I honestly don't know how. Uh, and it was suggested to me to do the, you know, scale it up, you know, whatever it is, and then then, then raise my 300 or raise my uh, DPI up to 300 and then import into GIMP. That's what I did. It worked. But then I also come to realize that I don't necessarily, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, so that's just my take on it. But anyway, guys, hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, post them below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm actually planning on doing another one right after this video, something just a little more messing with Inkscape, not just about export and DPI, but uh, the questions that come up, and I thought it would just be easier for me to kind of explain what I know um, in a video versus, uh, you know, kind of messaging back and forth and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps you guys, and again, you know, uh, I thank you for watching, and just... Enjoy designing those t-shirts.